Hey, it's Orie, and today we're talking about how to get your partner on board with your love language so that you're not bored with the same old love ya and you're actually getting more and the affection and the attention you really want in the way that you want. So when you feel misaligned because what you really need to feel adored is physical acts of love or maybe words of endearment, but all you kind of get is, I love you. And your partner's like, listen, I said I love you. I mean it. I care about you. That's, that's how I show my love. When you're kind of off sync with those love languages, it can make you feel like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. And whether it seems like they're impatient, they're responding the way I had just made an example of, or they don't get it, like it's going over their head, it's actually a deeper issue than that. So not being able to speak the same love language and meeting each other there, it's, it's not out of laziness or out of not getting it, but the deeper issue is that we all bring our trauma into relationships and therefore, we all bring our nervous systems into relationships as humans and the way that our nervous systems are wired right now. And it's not a mismatch in relationship. If you've gone to even therapy, couples therapy over this and things haven't shifted, then you know it's a deeper issue and your nervous systems actually have to expand your capacity to receive and give the love languages that you are both wanting. So perhaps a physical act of love for your partner is too overstimulating and their love yas are too underwhelming for you. So you don't get that stimulation you want, yet the, the stimulation that you do want puts your partner into overboard. And even if your partner isn't willing to get help, isn't willing to change as it that might be like what it seems on the surface, but if it feels like they're not willing to, you can change your nervous system rewiring and your capacity so that they can actually adapt to the love language that you want them to give you. So what I mean by this is if they say love ya and they really feel like they do and they're meaning it, and you're getting upset, maybe you're freezing up, not communicating what you want, or you're snapping in a way, or like, oh, why can't you just give me a gift? Why can't you just make me dinner? Why can't you just clean up when, you know, even without me asking you to, then that is continuing that pattern of them going into an overdrive or an overstimulation. And the pattern continues where you're unsatisfied, they're overstimulated, and they're in no position to try a new act of love. When in reality, it will be much more effective if you have the tolerance and the capacity to respond in a way where instead of freezing up, you speak up and express yourself with assertion instead of this more anger that has them reacting and that has you both just regulating together. So it's not a matter of they don't get it or they're not willing or it's just not them. I call BS on that because you both aren't just one way or the other. You have to work for compromising and giving each other what you want. And when you have a history of trauma and stress, then it's going to take some effort to change that. And you, you have to change that in relationship to another, not meaning your relationship with your partner is where you make these big changes, but you have to rewire your nervous system in a relationship with a professional who can give you a safe experience. Because when you start to change your ways, when you start to connect to your body so that you can physically be a different way, so that you physically give and receive a different way, you'll access some of that repressed trauma that's been down there for a long time and you need somebody to help you move through that, to regulate through that so you're not essentially repeating your trauma, your trauma patterns in the present over and over and over again. So if you're, you wanna speak the same languages, then you do have to release your old trauma 
rewire your nervous system and get your physical body on board. And if you're interested in hearing how that can happen for you, and it can, no matter how much couples therapy you've been to, you can change your patterns. Actually, talk therapy isn't going to change any pattern because talk therapy gets us over here in our verbal conscious mind and our physical behavior where our body is, where our body exists, where our trauma lies deep down within is what really needs to change. And so if you want the quicker lasting solution, the actual thing that will help you change your behavior, change your pattern, speak the same love language so that I love you is like, mm, I really love you. I really do. I really feel it. I am mm, so in love with you. Um, then let's talk. Let's have a free chat. I will give you a free relationship review where I'll help you map out the steps that you need in order to get to that place. And there's no obligation to work with me. It's just a free heart to heart. So if you're interested, book a free relationship review with me. The link will be to the side above or below. And until next time, can't wait to see you move. Bye.